Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Sondra Chikavani, your host, and this is the Enamels Deep Dive. But before we get started, stick with me till the end because I have a special offer and I need your help. We're building our community, so please join up for this newsletter and also all of our social marketing and spread the word because this NFT series is about to drop. So get ready to deep dive because we're about to dig deep and check out every single layer. We've got eight layers meticulously created from several different inspiration points. The first is the base layer made of 80 colors and these 80 colors are special to me because when I was a graffiti writer growing up as MISC-1 in San Francisco, part of BA crew, I used to go with my crew members and we used to go try to find rare and discontinued colors all over the place. Every place that I traveled, I went to a paint store or I went to a hardware store to try to find spray paint. And this was part of the signature that most of us would stand out when we would do our pieces in productions. So I wanted to take that inspiration and put that at the base of it all because the colors, why pick random colors? Most people pick random colors, but these colors are special. And if you know the names and you know what they are, then you'll understand. The next layer on top of those colors is an overall repeat of geometry and very simple patterns from diamonds and squares and dots, but also some very complex ones. All of these were inspired by photographs that I've been taking for about the last seven or eight years. And I really love all of the tread patterns that you see on the floor as you walk around in the street. Lots of people don't observe them, but my goal has been to collect them. And so when I started putting this series together and I started pulling from all my resources, I really wanted to incorporate these patterns into this NFT series because it's a metaphor for utility. And something about NFTs is definitely all about utility. On top of the 80 individual pattern repeats, I added a dynamic lighting effect layer made of gradients that are either radial or linear that act like a spotlight or sort of like daylight coming through a window. The concept behind this is to basically create one more dynamic layer that differentiates each piece and makes them unique. The next layer is about iconic symbolism. I used radial geometry, meaning a circle halo. I was really inspired in my youth with spiral graphs. I'm also really inspired by Venetian patterns and their mathematical geometry. But what really inspired me are icons, uh, specifically religious icons. And I wanted to have some sort of spiritual, like uplifting feeling behind this. And I wanted to iconify the hearts for object. So behind, I placed two layers, a white layer and a black layer, and they're both identical, but they both have a layer effect. And the beauty of this is that they create this illumination and that illumination off of the background of the geometry and seeing through it adds one more layer of depth before we get into the hearts for object. Specifically in this NFT, I've used a dripping heart with puddles on the bottom. And the concept behind this is that as graffiti writers, people like for the most part, it was really, really bad to have your paint drip, but it was always cool to draw a drip, right? You could draw a drip, but you couldn't let the paint drip. And then if you did drip, and some people use drips to their benefit. And also some people use drips as a way of showing that they had so much of a certain material that they could waste it, right? So in that case, the drip is something very profound. But today, this dripping heart for me symbolizes a melancholy feeling of a little bit of sadness, but also a lot of joy and happiness. The heart is something truly profound to all of us. And this iconic symbol is something that we all identify with. Whether you like it or not, you see a heart and you know exactly what it is. The cube is a symbol of truth. And in my exploration to creating the hearts for object, that's the hearts for object, just the object itself. The whole concept was that it was a cube or a block on the blockchain. 
And that in the idea of a heartfelt moment that each were the, the each of these heartfelt moments were recorded on the blockchain as these heart shaped cubes. Now add whatever that heartfelt moment is, whether it's like passion, romance or charitable or, or any of these different things. Today we use hearts on everything. If you heart it, you liked it, you loved it. That means you liked the photo, you liked the picture. The heart is extremely, extremely symbolic and putting it on chain is so cool. So these coded programmable layers making this art is really one other layer that is so special to me as the developer and creator of Hearts 4 and the Enamels project. Six color harmonies, the solids, the halves, the quarters, the eighths, the thirds, and the mixers, all six defined by their color uh, philosophy and strategies all encompassing all those 80 colors that I talked to you about on that first layer, they're all getting mixed up into this. And what, what they created is just amazing. And my like nostalgia and feelings just to see that these colors are being used in these different combinations is pretty much a dream come true. Remember playing board games when you were younger and that feeling of advancing forward, how exciting it was? Well, I loved it, but the thing that I loved even more was the, were those little charm objects that you would use that would be your game pieces. Well, in any case, I wanted to add this and throw in some lucky charms. These rare traits pop up on several of these, but only 25% of the collection will end up getting one of these ornaments that basically goes on, on um, this top layer. But I think it's really exciting, and I love seeing how other people in the NFT space have utilized some of this along with like frost beams and laser beams and all these different things, and this layer encompasses all of that. So to top it all off, I wanted to add one more layer of uniqueness. This layer of uniqueness is extremely familiar to all of us because we use it, because it's at the heart of everything, right? Heart, the word heart is used in so many different phrases like broken heart, have a heart, heartfelt. These are all simple phrases that we use all the time. So. Out of my own mind and my own recollection, I created a list of 80 different titles that I added to this whole entire collection. I know it's only 80 and there's 12,000, but each one becomes unique based on its mixture with all the other 80 traits from all the other eight layers. So essentially, each one gets its own unique title. I think something that's been inspiring about this whole entire process, even though it took maybe a little bit longer than I really anticipated, is the fact that every time I hit a snag, for some reason, with every future development, it just kept on encouraging me to finish the series. It's been my goal since 2021, hearing all the fads of like NFTs, and I wanted to shock it and not just create these like silly, goofy icons that lots of people do. And don't get me wrong, lots of that I love. But on the other end, I wanted this to be a more of a heartfelt experience no pun intended, but the algorithm that generates this didn't turn out very well with the background. So I decided I had to roll up my sleeves and I made all 12,000 backgrounds myself. So a lot of this is handcrafted. I don't use AI to make the artwork, to draw the artwork or conceptualize it. I do use AI from time to time supportively, whether it's grammar or it's writing things. And sometimes, I'd like to see how an image might look, so I do experiment with certain AI software or image creation softwares. But for this, zero AI was used, except for any kind of help with like the code or whichever. But besides that, I'm using standard algorithmic, like, you know, NFT creation software mixed with my Photoshop skills, mixed with all the conceptuality of these assets in order to get this library together and create each one of these unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. So thanks for sticking with me to the end. And here's what I'd like to offer you. Please sign up for the newsletter. Please follow all of our social marketing and join our newsletter and we'll whitelist you into the future drops. But what I'd like to offer you as well for signing up are, is the ability to win a couple fun things. So first of all, we've got t-shirts, we've got skate decks, we've got coloring books, and we have a 3D printed object. 
All four of these will be made in limited quantities and distributed amongst our first signups. So please hit that button below, hit send, and get on our list, and we're really excited to keep in touch with you. I'm Sandra Chicovani. This is Hearts 4, the Enamels Project. Let's get nifty soon.